Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows 7 is unable to open up executable files. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu, just by left clicking on the Start button one time. And you want to type in RegEdit. Best match should say RegEdit right underneath Programs. Right click on it, and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control window, left click on yes. So now that we are in the registry editor here, you want to go and expand the H key classes root folder right here. So just left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the view. Once you've done that, now we want to locate the .exe selection. So just scroll down here, right here. So once you've located .exe, what we want to do at this point, it's going to be pretty simple. We want to go over to where it says default here, right click on it, and then left click on modify. So underneath value data, you want to make sure it's set to exe file, all one word, so e-x-e-f-i-l-e. -E. Once you have it set like that, just left click on OK. So now at this point, hopefully that should resolve your issue. Now if that did not resolve the issue, we want to go and locate our exe file folder here. So just scroll down until you get to exe file folder. There's a lot of folders in here, so just keep that in mind. Right here. You want to go and locate the default entry in here, so just double click on it. You want to change the value in here to quotation sign. So the two little dashes up at the top percent sign, one, then you want to do another quote, and then you want to do a percent sign again, and then you want to do a little star, so star is a little character right above the eight key on your keyboard. I will have this in the description of the video as well for you guys so you can follow along. Once you have it as it appears on my screen, you just want to left click on OK to change the value data of that. So that should hopefully be pretty straightforward for that component. So now we want to open up the exe file right here. So just expand that on the left side here. So expand the folder, then expand shell. Now you want to expand open. Now that we have the open here, just left click on the open folder one time. Over here on the right underneath default, just double click on that entry. For value data, in here you want to do the same value we did before. So the quotation, the two little dashes, which is the key right next to the enter key on most people's keyboards. And then you want to do again the percent sign, the number one, so just one, don't spell it out, just type the number one. Then another quotation, the two little dashes, it's just one key, keep that in mind. Percent sign, and then you want to do the little star right next to that. And then left click on OK. Once you've done that, you do have the ability to go restart your computer. I would highly suggest doing that, and hopefully that should have resolved your issue. Now, I would highly suggest before ever working in the registry editor, you do create a backup. So in order to create a backup of your registry before you begin this video, just go up to the File tab at the top, and then left click on Export. And then just save this somewhere on your desktop. doesn't really matter where. Just save it as backup, for example. Click Save. You see we have a backup over here. And if you ever something went wrong, you just go up to the file tab up here, click import, and then just grab that. And it says the keys have been successfully added to the registry. So that'll basically restore it back if you ever made a mistake. So I would highly suggest you guys do that in either case. But I do have this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.